So here we are upstate in an enormous limestone quarry in the Catskills where they are letting us collect some fossil. Beautiful upstate New York. And the sow crop is actually completely full of fossils. So hopefully we'll all find some good stuff here today. Hi everybody, welcome to Fossil Hunting and Collecting with Chris. We're going to be looking for fossils now in the beautiful Catskill Mountains. The Catskill Mountains is a plateau that was pushed up about 350 million years ago in uh, the sort of central corner of New York. It's The plateau has been eroded by rivers and over time it formed a really beautiful area. So, just like last time, I'm going to pull out the geologic treasure map and show you where the rocks are, where the fossils are. We're looking at these greenish rocks, the greenish and the, the bluer ones in the lower left as well, are going to be the rocks that contain Devonian fossils just along here, a little bit south of Albany. As I mentioned, this whole area had been pushed up and we can see where the rivers have cut through over time. It was a uh, raised, level plateau that has eroded away and as the water has cut into it, it cut into the older layers that are revealing many nice fossils. So uh, we're going to be going up there. I'll show you some of the beautiful scenery all the way and then we'll get started collecting fossils. The trip upstate is really beautiful. I had to show you some of the scenery. Really? South and north at the same time? We'll get there. So, actually, it's filling. Joseph, so what'd you find? I believe I found a trilobite tail and a nice little sponge next to him. I was able to chisel him off a giant boulder. So a good start to the day. It took me about 30 seconds to find them and <laughs> yes. about two minutes to remove them. So yes, a great start good of the day. Good start. Yes, very excited. Thank you. Right, you want so, the sunlight? Can you see it? Uh, actually, I'll turn on an angle again. Yeah, we're just yeah, waiting yeah. the sun. So what this is, is a lingula. And a lingula is a special brachiopod because it's made with a different type of shell. And it's a aragonite, which is much weaker than the calcium carbonate. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, because they don't preserve as well, they're much more sought after. Aragonite? Aragonite. It's, um, it's a weaker form of, uh, of uh, calcium. And, uh -oh. Yep. Yeah, uh, what's your name for the cat? Hi, cat. Well, thank you for sharing, cat. Thank you. And you have oh, what you have looks to me like a burrow. A burrow. Yep. Yeah, a uh, a burrow, for maybe a trilobite or possibly oh. a uh, cephalopod. I wasn't sure if it was carbonized wood or something. But, you know. uh, it's not unheard of here, but it, it's that looks more like a burrow to me. Oh, yeah. And what's your name? If you don't mind being uh, Rick. Rick. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So who found it, Nick? Found it. Good job, Nick. So Nick, you found a Favocytes, which is a coral 
uh, a, ta a tablet coral from the Lower Devonian. Next extends throughout the Devonian. These are Lower Devonian rocks. But that is a really beautiful find. If you clean that up with a little bit of uh, weak acid, like muriatic acid, maybe start with vinegar, but then if that's not strong enough, muriatic acid, you can get a beautiful white color out of that. Very good find. Okay, so you found a gastropod or a snail. So, very nice. Where did you find this? Oh, uh, up there. I was splitting some rocks. Oh, that popped out? Yeah. Very That's nice. That's what I like to do. <laughs> very nice. And your name is? Valerie. Valerie, thank you for sharing that with us. Oh, is he kind? Chip it away at home. So this is what the New Scotland is famous for because it has these sponges called Hindia that normally don't preserve. You need really very fine particles to get a sponge to actually preserve for four years. That's, uh, that's what uh, we find in this. It's a really very nice example. Thank you for showing us that, Rich. Oh, you're welcome. So what I'm looking at here on the ground is a rock that's perfectly smooth and it has scratches almost exclusively in one direction. This is formed by glaciers. You see these striations are formed by glaciers. About, well, probably the most recent glacier that comes through here was about 20,000 years ago. So Nick has made another find today. He has found a crinoid in a, uh, in a very large boulder. Getting out will definitely be a challenge if you try. Yeah. But it's a very nice, a very nice crinoid. You can see the outer, larger, sort of stalk-like feature. The smaller ones, I, I think, are going to be the arms in the middle. And it's sort of in a collapsed position. All right. Um, what's your name, please? Andrew. And so, Andrew, you're showing us uh, let's say, your mom found this nice big cephalopod. Huh? Yes. So, we can tell it's a cephalopod. It's long and skinny, first of all, and because of all these little chambers. That's where those little hatch lines going across it are. Those are the little chambers. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for showing us that. No problem. I don't even want to. Uh... Well, I can give you some advice on how okay, to get yeah, that out. Yeah, look, Chris. Chris is the uh... professional. I'm going to get out of the way. Wow, Chris is the professional. That is a beautiful cephalopod. It is. That's that, that, that's the find of the day for you. <laughs> wow. Well, are you the finder? And what's your name? Chris. Oh, good. Chris, very good. Good, very awesome find here. That is a really beautiful cephalopod. Okay. So, probably the best thing to do with that is I would come from the side. You see how there's like layers in this rock? I had one like that a few years ago and I just kept whacking both sides. And I got lucky that it split that way. If you can get it to do that, do you have like a 12 pounder or a 16 pounder? Yep, so that's it. whack it from the sides and see if you can split that off. Then it'll be at least a little bit more manageable. And I have a, do you have a hand truck? I have a hand truck you can use. So I, I have one about half that size, and I'm just going to get my hand truck for now.
it was, it was weed out. Don't let it throw it to the back of the ground and you have to, you know, yeah. um, so. Would you like me to do some of that? Mm -hmm. Alright, it's recording right now, so we can just let it keep going. Let it keep going. Cool. Alright, so class day we are at the uh, Bolton Quarry. There are some beautiful calcite systems up here. And we will be us enough to walk out for us. We'll try to get some of them. The big rock works pretty good, Chris. Big rock? The big rock to your left it gives you another three, two and a half feet standing on the big rock. Standing on this? Yeah, it's, it's right, much more solid than it looks. I'm working my way up to that. See, Chris is up here though, right? Yeah. I know. That's down the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> no, I know, that's why we just... They were being really careful earlier, and then once it once said 15 minutes, we started a smash. I know, you want them so... It's like they're so close, but... Yeah, it's like one of those... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to destroy them, bro. Come on, man. Think of a javelin. You can get it. Just toss it. Just toss it. Yeah. You just need an Olympic javelin. That's what I am here for. If you toss it, I'm leaving. Oh. All right. Ask your question. On five spots, so I think, see, I gotta go. Enough entertainment. Yes, I'll be at the ones on the ground. I should be down for you. Yeah, they're just there. I dropped the one. Oh, there you go. Actually, a lot of these might clean up. Some of these big ones were watered with crystals. I just couldn't tell what was in there. You want to show the pieces on uh they're just little pieces but they should clean up nice if you like them thanks while we're in the area we decided to take a look at the house cave museum of mining and geology this was put together by volunteers it has minerals and other displays on the inside and what it also has which is really unique to this uh site is a cave. This cave is the original cave that Lester Howe found in the 1840s and started a tour for people. Uh, he, would take, he would actually walk with candles into this uh, underground cave. This entrance um, was closed for many years. It's not part of the tourist attraction Howe's Caverns, which is actually a different part of the same cave system. So we were allowed to walk into this part of the cave that had not been open uh, to the public for about a hundred years. There's still mule tracks uh, in the dust on the floor that's been undisturbed in some places. What is that? It's a living thing that we found on the floor of the cave. Can you tell what it is? It's actually a fungus. It is a mushroom, but it looks like a squid. Kind of creepy down here in the cave. 
Hey what? there. Awesome. What's your name? John Phillips. Hey, John. And what did hey. you find today? Uh, it was yesterday. We found oh, yesterday. Uh, <laughs> what we believe to be a cephalopod running down this way, and then possibly another chamber of a cephalopod, or uh, what? Oh, it could be a type of a sponge. Not really sure, but yeah, it, it is really hard to see, see what this uh, see what this is for sure. Yeah. Possibly a good amount of fossil we to do that to uh, see what it is. Right. It's, we'll it's see. A, it's a good size fossil, whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay, so now Jim found a nice trilobite. I think John found it. Oh, John found it. Okay. So it was the trilobite is. Um, it looks like it may be going further into the rock. Let's hope it is. It probably is. I hope so. So this would be another one where you might want to try drilling or, or uh, picking around, see if you can get any more rock to come off. Okay. And uh, might have a, a very nice uh, example of the trial bite. And what kind of trial bite is it? Uh, I would have to look at the book. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, uh, if I looked at the book, it wouldn't help. So. Here, the geologist showed us the strata, or the layers of rock. The different colors indicate different time periods. So even though we're in the Devonian, these are different layers that were laid down at different times in the Devonian. Well, let's, let's see if anybody in the group has a saw. Yeah, I tried chipping around it, but I thought I better talk to Fred. Yeah. That, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Valerie. Valerie, can we put you in the, in the video log? What trip is that? Bro? Okay, so Valerie found a really beautiful car bike. It's not a fake cop, so it might be. Yeah. It might be a Tarmiris, but I'm not sure because I don't see the head yet. And I think the head is inside this. It's like the head is buried under there. So this would be a really good one to try to saw out. <laughs> so let's see if we have anybody who has a rock saw. That's a really good try to make. Your trilobite. I do. I wanted one. A very nice trilobite here, and it looks like the head is probably in here. If you very carefully wet that and, and pick out the top there with maybe a little uh, pin or a small nail, you might be able to get the rest of the trilobite exposed. Okay. okay. Whatever. So here we have another nice big cephalopod. Right here. And the question is whether or not it's going to come out of the rock.
Yep, make a right. Hey, you're welcome. Head south. It'll. You're welcome. Hey, Jay, just go south, and it'll take you down to uh, 23. But you're welcome, Valerie. Have a good time. <laughs> take care. Okay, so that was a great trip. Uh, I showed a lot of what other people found. They didn't show very much what I was finding. Over here we have a really nice cephalopod. Not as big as some of the other ones, but there's another one that I found up there that I'm gonna be prepping, showing you in a moment. Also, I'd like to show you some of the crystals that we found here. So there's two different types of crystals that we find up there. One is quartz, which is really beautiful. The other is calcite, which can also be very, very nice. Now on the trip, we found a bunch of these. This one I didn't find on this trip, but it's uh, the best one I found in that location. Is the nicest quartz that I found in that location. So thank you very much for watching my video. I'm having a lot of fun making these, so I'm going to keep making them whether you're a subscriber or not. Have a great day.